In this video, we are going to review important concepts about Agora. If you are building a mobile app and using Agora SDK to build a real-time experience for voice calling app or video calling app or even interactive live stream like TikTok or YouTube live, you absolutely need to use Agora SDK. In this video, we won't talk about code. We are just talking about concepts. So that's enough time for talking. Let's go to end of it. If you are using Agora for the first time, time, absolutely you are going to be confused about the concept used in Agora SDK. What is the challenge? What is the UID? What is token? What can I do to go to live stream and a much and a lot of questions you are asking about it. And I am doing this video because I think there is not uh, enough content for using Agora SDK online on YouTube. So I hope this video is useful to you. And if you earn 1% information in this video, please give me a like. Also subscribe for more of these videos. Okay, let's start. If you are with willing to use Agora, you have a voice SDK and video SDK and RTM real-time messaging SDK. And of course, something called recording add-on is not SDK actually, it's just something they are working on it. And the first SDK, you are using it to broadcasting a voice call or a, a live stream, something like that. And of course, if you are using Agora to create a meeting app or a chat app, you are going to use a voice and video app. If you are creating a messaging app, we need real-time messaging server you are going to use rtm and that's it actually you can read the all of this here and that's it all the information you need about the difference between them now let's go into the key concepts which is the important concepts that you are need to understand to use agora first you have to know about the app id which you can get from your console here in agora this is the app code you just press config and get your app id and that is something important if you are initializing the engine which is going to need to create RTC engine you are gonna to need your app ID here again it's not about coding so let's continue about the next concept the app certificate it's something you need to create a token and also you can get it here from your config file of your application you are gonna to get the app ID and you can get also the certificate from here you just can press copy and that's take us to the most important and confusing concept in Agora which is the token what is the token why do I need a token if you go here to this code to join a channel you need three things if you are joining with user account you need a token and the channel name and the user uid the user uid is a unique number you can generate yourself and you can handle it in your project and the channel name we are gonna to talk about it in the next minute but the token is the key that allow you to join this room without a valid token you can't join to a room and you can get a temporary token from here from your console go here and generate a temp rtc token enter the room number like room one and generate now you're having a token which is a temporary and this token is generated by using some values which is your channel name and your app id and also your certificate it's a combination between these three things and also another something here which is the channel id side some text here which is a subscriber or publisher and you are generating a token for user account or uid the uid of the user so it's something complicated i'm going to make a video about this so make sure to subscribe and the link of this video is going to be in the description of this video of course and that video is talking about how to create a server token that you can create an ABI that you can call with HTTP package to get a response which is a token if you are publishing your app to the app store you need to do this step and this is very important step so make sure to subscribe to watch this video now let's go to what is the channel a channel you can imagine it like a room and let's sit together and just talk of course I'm summarizing all of this you can read all this yourself but I just want to save your time in the channel you have two profiles or two moods for you the channel even it's a live broadcasting or it is a communication channel you can use both of them and you can read the documentation of each one but in short if you are making a voice call or a chatting app someone is going to call someone and start talking each other maybe one or more than two you're just going to choose communication and 
if you have a room that someone is the hosting is talking like YouTube channel or Instagram live stream, someone is the host and the other people, which is can be more than one, maybe thousands, maybe 10,000. I don't know. If you have more followers, you're going to have a lot of audience. And that's it. The client rule, even it is a broadcaster, which is a host who is able to broadcast and send and receive audio and video. Or the client rule is going to be an audience. Audience is able to just receive an image or a video and audio. They can't talk, they can't send voice, they can't allow talking in the stream. And if you want someone from the audience to talk, you can use set rule or set client rule here to change it later as a broadcaster, which is going to be an host. And he is going to able to talk and send videos for the other audience. And that is for the channel. Also, we explain what is the channel profile. So I'm summarizing. This is for you so fast. Okay, the user UID, which is UID. Here you have two UIDs. Actually, when you are joining a channel, you are passing a unique user ID that you are already generated as a developer but there's another ID that auto generated for all the members of the channel when joining success you're going to take a unique ID or unique ID number which is different than that you created before to join the channel which is going to be confusing for you so don't worry as I'm going to show you this this is a log for user joined function which is here or listener that trigger when some user or audience go to your room it's triggering that a user joined and the id is one zero 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 and three and the elapsed or the time that take to join it's one one six seven milliseconds and after that you can add uh, this id to a list to just monitor the number of the views and your audience id and this is actually very advanced so let's talk about it later and if you have any questions about that please leave a comment or you can go to my blog and choose any communication channel or social media account to contact with me i'm going to be so glad to help you oh and don't be shy to buy me a coffee buy me a cookie or a coffee or anything actually what about stream and publish actually stream and publish and subscribe it's a very advanced level in agora so you can just ignore them till you are be professional and have a stand application and you can start thinking about the stream and publishing and subscribing to certain channel or certain stream and to summarize it also a stream is something like a container or, or actually something like a room which is containing an audio and a video and you can publish an audio and video through this stream to another one and also you can subscribe or the audience can subscribe to the user who is streaming and publishing the streams confusing right and that's why I told you it's advanced so just leave it now and that's it for the most confusing concepts about Agora. This is going to be part one. I'm going to publish part two for something confusing about Agora. If you like this video and need more, please let me know what is confusing for you. And I'm going to summarize it and publish a new video for this series. Okay, see you soon. Bye.